Hello and welcome back to our Trending Gossips YouTube channel, everyone. Today, we're we'll be discussing the tragic story of Shanquella Robinson and the fight for justice for her. In October 2022, Shanquella Robinson, a strong and brilliant black woman, died while on vacation in Cabo, Mexico, under suspicious circumstances. Initially, the Koa Six, who were her acquaintances, told her family that she died from alcohol poisoning. But things took a dark turn when the autopsy report revealed that she actually died from a broken neck and spine. Recently, a copy of Robinson's death certificate was released, and it indicated that she passed away just 15 minutes after getting injured, enlisted severe spinal cord injury, and atlas luxation as the cause of death. Strangely enough, there was no mention of alcohol poisoning as a contributing factor on the certificate. But who was responsible for Shanquella's death? Authorities watched a video and identified the person attacking and beating Shanquella Robinson. That person was named as the aggressor by the Mexican authorities. Authorities are now looking for an arrest warrant for the extradition to have the party or parties brought back to Mexico. The Mexican authorities have issued an arrest warrant for one of Robinson's friends, Danny Jackson, and it's got six shook. The attorney for Robinson's family has revealed that the U.S. government is planning to take diplomatic action to move the case forward. The issue now is that there has to be a high level of diplomatic intervention. The Robinson family attorney, Benjamin Crump, revealed that he expects a meeting soon with White House officials and the head of the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The family is calling on the Biden administration to extradite the accused killer to Mexico. Everybody being arrested and doing time in Mexico would be justice for us as of now. The American Bar Association and several national sororities and fraternities will be issuing letters calling for justice for Shanquella Robinson leading up to the 200th day after her death. Shanquella's case is moving forward, albeit at a sluggish pace. Attorneys Crump and Sue Ann Robinson had called on officials to either extradite the person named on an arrest warrant issued by Mexican officials or to take over jurisdiction and prosecute that person in the U.S. The Department of State previously told the Observer it would not comment on extradition matters. The Department of State supports a thorough investigation into the circumstances of this incident and is closely monitoring local authorities' investigation. We refer you to the Mexican authorities for further questions regarding an investigation the Department of State had said at the time. We hope that Shanquella Robinson's case will receive the justice it deserves. We stand with her family in their fight for justice and will keep you updated on any further developments on this story.